What's up guys? So in the past we set up C Sharp for NeoVim, so you could now technically program C Sharp NeoVim, but now what? Because most of you, let's be honest, might just use Rider or VS Code next to NeoVim. Because ditching your traditional commercial IDE and going to the terminal for good is actually scary, isn't it? And this is because Vim itself is not enough. So why is that? I'm a .NET consultant with eight years of enterprise experience now. I am operating in the field every day. A lot of YouTubers are not. So everyone is talking about Vim, but no one is actually talking about how you really in the real world get there. So the Vim motions in the quick fix window and macros are good and necessary, but they themselves will not get you very far. Now, why is that? It's because the commercial IDE that you used to and enslaved to is nothing more than an opinionated UI wrapper around functionality that you would normally use your CLI tools for. If you knew your CLI tools, we're gonna to explore that statement in future videos. Just a point for now is without knowing your CLI tools and how to incorporate them in your daily workflow, you're gonna stay addicted. So who is you? Who is this guide for? Nobody starts Vim as the first thing in programming, just as no first grader starts with the extended number system as the first thing in mathematics. I assume you already have a history of programming in your IDE, but even if you don't, you just want to start Vim, that's fine. So who is this for? Everyone who wants to start Vim or already started Vim in the IDE and now wants to go full terminal but doesn't really know how. So that is why the upcoming videos will get you what you need to free yourself from your IDE and turn your terminal into a hyper-productive working environment. When I say hyper-productive work environment, I mean it because what you will get by the end of this guide is increasing your working speed and capacity drastically, offload large parts of your workday to muscle memory, be asked by your coworkers to not jump around so quick, please, when you share your screen because how you navigate and edit the code is faster than anyone who watches can comprehend, Feel the need to check your phone when your coworkers are sharing the screen because they just feel so slow compared to you. And finally, getting to the point where you only open your IDE to show other people how inferior it actually is to the terminal. So how do we do all of this? Although I'm a C-sharp developer, this doesn't mean that you have to be a C-sharp developer for this guy to be working for you as well. Because what this guide is doing, it's going to increase your productivity and speed drastically, no matter what programming language you're coding in. So how do we start? What's the plan here, right? Number one, you start with the motions. You just start Vimming. You get a plugin for your IDE and then just practice the Vim motions. And since there's already terabytes of content about this, you don't need me to show you how to Vim. You can just check YouTube. And there's a wonderful playlist from the Primogen that is called Vim as your editor and it helped me getting up and running back in the days. Just do that for the start and you're going to be good. And just as a little disclaimer, you're not going to be super lightning fast with this overnight. So have a little patience. Don't be too hard on yourself. Watch my video here. Number two, work through the CLI Essentials miniseries. Vim does not exist in a Petri dish. This series will give you the CLI foundation around NeoVim. Knowing your CLI is absolutely crucial for letting go of your IDE, there's no way around it. Also, in future videos, I will discuss topics that require a good enough understanding of those CLI tools and therefore will constantly refer back to the self-contained playlist. And finally, step number three, crafting your workflows. These videos will show you how to orchestrate your CLI tools to finally, eventually, turn your terminal into a hyper-productive work environment. We will talk about how to use fuzzy finding macros in the quick fix window efficiently. We're gonna talk about NeoVim plugins, we're gonna talk about scripts, we're gonna talk about automation, we're gonna talk about key mappings and combinations and, and much more. And after watching these series, you will finally be able to 100% confidently ditch your IDE. So what's next? Well, depending on where you are on the map, step one, two, or three, just jump in and watch the videos. If you are a C Sharp developer and you don't know how to set up C Sharp for NeoVim, there's a playlist for you as well on this channel. If you already did all of that, just stay tuned. Much, much more on digital productivity, not only coding, not only Vim, also note-taking, also other stuff coming soon on this channel. Bye-bye.